Yo, what's going on guys? Your putty god is back with another 3D printing video. So, you guys already know, I've been pushing more 3D printing videos for you guys, and it's been awesome so far. Um, we've come as far as printing layers, even discs, and now drivers. So, this video is going to be covering a 3D printed driver. It is pretty much entirely 3D printed with a few parts that are actually... Um, from an actual driver but this video is going to be showing it off as well as um i guess its components how it's put together and then its performance so i'm going to be covering it entirely and i know it's just a driver but either way this is a big step in 3d printing um it is just the next i guess the final component when it comes to making your very own entire 3d printed beyblade but before we get into this video i do have to give credit where it's due now this driver alone was entirely designed by crazy aries so i have to give a big shout out to them i will link their channel down below and yeah they are very talented they have made a few other really really well done uh designs so i have to give them props moving on putty squad where you at hashtag putty squad comment down below show your support can we get 200 likes I think we can, boys. Anyway, we can finally get to the video now. That's enough talking. I'm going to get a close-up of the driver, but what I'm going to do actually is take it apart and show you guys its components. So, let's do that real quick. All right, guys. So, I just took apart the driver, and as you guys could see, there's actually five components to this driver, not counting the two that we're going to be taking out of this fake destroy. There's five components, and they're all 3D printed. This driver is entirely original. Um, it's very well thought out, if I do have to say, and uh, it's pretty straightforward to put together. So anyway, we got the fake destroy driver once again. And if you guys didn't know, fake driver or fake drivers have uh, Phillips heads that you can unscrew and remove, which allows you to get inside the driver. So we're gonna do that real quick. All right, and basically after you take out the screws, you end up with this mess of parts. And from this driver, we're gonna take a few things. Number one being the screws. So we're going to reuse these screws to put the 3D printer driver together. And then we're going to take the spring. This will allow it to burst. And then lastly, the plastic cover. And this holds everything in place. So we do have to sacrifice a driver, but it's a fake driver anyway. So it's whatever. Um, could always get a new one. Anyway, we got all the parts we need now and uh, We're gonna start step by step. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is get the base right here or part of the base and This component actually has a spot that you can put it together on so it should just click in place Depending on how it's printed. Um, I use shapeways, which is pretty precise if I do have to say so it just clicked in place and now you got this part which becomes a two-piece thing right here next is to place the spring you guys can see it just sits there carefully and then we're going to get the cover now this part's a little bit tricky you want to line it up as well as you can so that it sits like that you're going to hold it in place with your fingers and then you're going to put the cover on top all right so I got it sitting well enough. You want to keep it together with your fingers, at least until the screws are placed in. And that's the next step. We're going to carefully put the screws inside each hole. There's only two, so it shouldn't be too hard. You also want to make sure that it's lined up carefully so that the screw does go in place. You should be able to tell right away if the screw did go in because now it's not falling apart. We're going to do the last one. And voila, we got the core of the driver done now. And as you guys can see, it works. It bounces up and down like that, like it's supposed to. And lastly is the tip of the driver. So there's too many components here. There's one shaped like a hexagon and then the actual tip. Now, this piece right here is supposed to hold the tip in place, but unfortunately the printing on this wasn't correct or something was off about it. So it doesn't stick as it should onto this piece right here. So instead I did use some putty to hold it in place, which works perfectly if I do have to mention. Um, so just a matter of pushing it down to make sure it's secure 
And don't be afraid to use some putty if you need to. And really, that's all it's for. It's just making sure that this piece right here will sit as best as it can on the driver. So now we're going to set the actual tip. And to lock it in place, you just have to press hard enough until you see it kind of rest. And that's pretty much there is to it. So we got the driver all together now. It is called Kernel, if you guys weren't aware. So it is the K driver. There has not been a K driver ever. So this is like the first of its kind. Um, I really love the fact that Crazy Aries is using the missing letters for the discs and drivers. All right, guys, I'm back with a few other things just to compare it with. Now, this driver, Kernel, is basically like a cone shaped tip and you can even see that it's pretty pointy um as for the tip itself it's made out of a rougher plastic once again had i printed this out of metal it would have been really smooth but plastic was cheaper and the plastic itself is pretty rough and now i could sand this down if i really wanted to but the thing is it would lose its pointy shape and i don't want to lose that so there it is um it's pointy and it's rough. Not like rough like sandpaper, but maybe more like a soft rock, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's right there, you guys could see. Um, white plastic, I went with white. Honestly, you could print it out of any color or even color it. Um, I think white looks pretty clean though. Now, comparing it to a few other drivers or pieces I have yielding here, and I guess it's kind of like the driver that's most similar to it that's an official driver yielding is kind of the same shape if i can get it right there the only difference here is the wideness it's a little bit less wide and the tip of yielding is actually made out of a smooth plastic called pom meanwhile this is 3d printed um, abs plastic but anyway the surface is different and the width is a little bit different but it's kind of the same thing or i guess the same concept now Here's what it's actually based off of, and it is a WD. So, this piece is a spin track and performance tip from Metal Fight. For you old school fans, you guys remember this as 145 WD. For you burst fans who aren't familiar with this, it was one of the most commonly used spin tracks and performance tips ever. Like, it was on a ton of Beyblades. Anyway, this driver is based off of this. And you guys can see the similarities in the tip. It's kind of hard to see, but the same type of tip just not as wide i guess and even like the track design is mimicked on the driver which i thought was really cool very good attention to detail by crazy aries so that's really really cool but he made this driver for the earth aquila remake that he made um and you guys have already seen it hopefully on my channel if not check out the video right now link will be on the screen but this is the driver for it, and it's just like a WD type tip. And now we're gonna move on to the fun part, which is the testing. So we're gonna do a few test launches to see how it spins, and then also some test battles. All right, so for this test, I'm gonna be using Archer Hercules with the drivers. So we're gonna get rid of Eternal, we're gonna swap it out with Kernel. So I use this Beyblade because it has a lot of good balance and stamina, and I think it'd be a perfect fit for this driver. But anyway, let's do a test launch. So, right off the bat, really calm, very little movement, just like how it's intended to be. It's really just a wide defense tip. So there's gonna be a lot of stamina with this, and I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit to see how it acts. So once it starts kind of scraping, it ends up moving like that. And now we're gonna see how it looks like when it loses spin. So yeah, overall, very smooth and calm.
All right, so you guys saw the test battles and testing. Overall, this driver, Colonel, is a really solid defense slash stamina driver. And I definitely will be testing it more in other videos. Anyway, if you guys made it this far, I will link you guys down below to the files to 3D print this yourself. If you guys do have access to one, definitely go for it. Just remember that you do need some parts to actually put it together. Anyway, that's it for this video. Once again, shout out to Crazy Aries for designing this. I really think that this is just the beginning of 3D printing drivers. I can't wait to see what else is in store. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, see ya.